um, Maria Isabel Garcia. My mother calls me Isabel, but everybody else calls me Maria. <laughs> the, um, I knew Carl when we were. Uh, I was trying to have a book published by the Ateneo de Manila University Press, and we were already at that stage when we were doing the covers. And it was a peculiar book, uh, and this is the book in the sense that it is uh, about the junctions in science and the arts and meaning. So the, t the title of the book was 21 Grams of Spirit and 7 Ounces of Desire. And I thought if an artist would have to hook, hook a cover for that, he would have to be some extraordinary artist to do that. <laughs> And if he, if he were not, he would, I think he would miss a completely fabulous chance to do so, given the title. So, uh, and I think, I remember it was just f the first pass, um, and he submitted his draft, and I immediately fell in love with it and said, go. My core Baition was there, the director of the Ateneo Press invited me to a meeting for the publication of um, my, well, originally just one book of my collected plays, and Marie Corb brought along this fresh-faced young man to the old spaghetti house, if I remember right. And the first thing I thought when I saw Carl was that this kid is going to design my books, and he's such a kid. And Nevertheless, it was fun because the very first meeting, um, he talked about designing the book like a script, like an actor's script book, which means he said he's going to put binders. Remember that idea is going to put binders. And the first thing that was running in my head was cookbook, gagawin mong cookbook, my life's work is going to look like a cookbook. And of course I never said anything and he kind of got it. And, um, and, and there, the, the, it became a year-long process and resulted in, a, I think, a very dear friendship for me also. Yeah, well, um this is my latest book, The Manila Synod of 1582. It's actually a translation. I translated what appears here as a draft of uh, the Synod's handbook for confessors. Uh, Carl was the was a book designer. Uh, he won for that last year in the National Book Awards. This is the very first um, journal that I edited for the Philippine Sociological Review. As you can see, it, this, it, as you might imagine, it departs uh, highly from the past. Now it's, uh, it has a graphic in front. Uh, it already now contains our reinvented logo. And um, gumanda na talaga siya. No? So, um, Si Carl would suggest na mayroon siya mga terminologies. Ah, kailangan may Fibonacci, may mga ganon. It's, it's a learning process for me also na may mga principles and design. Although ako, I can appreciate design, but I don't know the technicalities of it. I know, I know when it's good, when I see it. No? So, um, this book eventually, uh, with, with all the work, the hard work of the article authors, uh, won the National Academy for Science and Technology. Um, book or monograph in 2012. So it was also my first time to edit. I spent months not sleeping no? and uh, hounding Carl as well, who was available 24-7, although I know medyo nocturnal siya. Uh, Namit ko si Carl sa UP Diliman. Um, we were both in a campus publication called Philippine Collision. Um, he was a staffer then for uh, the graphic section and I was one of the editors. So, uh, naging magkaibigan kami right away uh, ni Carl dahil uh, marami kami interest na pareho. Uh, mahilig siya sa cinema dahil film major siya noon. Uh, ako naman noon, mahilig manood. <laughs> Saka, sa politics din, nagkakasundo kami dahil uh, pareho kami mga pinapanindigan, pinapaniwalaan. And dahil creative person din naman ako, so parang may... Uh, tapos maliit lang naman ang mundo mm -hmm. ng collegian so eventually we became friends and after nung graduate ako nung naging editor din siya di nagpatuloy yung friendship at uh, pagiging uh, colleagues namin mm -hmm. I understand that he designed the book of Cabell mm -hmm. paano ito nangyari? paano nagsimula? at yeah. ano ang nakikita mo dun sa design process ng libro? Um, I was uh, I was uh, 
uh, na imbitahan ako na mag-edit uh, ng book ng letters ni Crispin Beltran. Kasi si Crispin Beltran hindi siya known as a writer eh, or as a, uh, a militant mass leader, labor leader, no, and uh, parliamentarian. Um, nung yung family niya, saka yung foundation na nag na gusto mag-publish ng mga letters niya, na-approach ako to edit the, the book dahil I have been covering the stories na uh, involved si Kabel. Um, I immediately, immediately thought of uh, Carl. This is uh, Reka from Diliman to the Cordilleras. And uh, this book is a compilation of um, tribute, no? um, poetry um, about Reka. No? And she and her work um, during her stint as an organizer for the youth and as a member of the New People's Army. And um, it's, uh, it also has, well, aside from the tributes and the poetry, there's also uh, the fact sheets about what happened, about the case, how um, she and uh, several other individuals um, died in La Cubabra uh, last September 2014. So. Um, after that incident, there was an outpouring of uh, messages, and we thought it was nice to, and it would be really, it would give honor to her to be able to compile all those thoughts and all those tributes in one book. So how did Carl come to design the book for you, and how was that relationship with him? Well, um, how Carl came into the production of the book, well, Carl was um, a contemporary of Reka. They had common friends in UP. And so when we were um, um, coming up with a project or the design, the, her batchmate said, how about Carl? And said, um, we, at first I thought like, Carl was already known in the industry and like, really, he's willing to, to work for free? <laughs> So, um, and then um, we saw how passionate he was with working with the book, despite being out of town, despite the difficult internet connections, he was always in touch with us. Um, he was always getting updates and, and submitting um, all those um, drafts. So in the process of, we were in the entire process of um, proofreading and um, finalizing every detail in the content of the book. And Carl was always there. Uh, si Carl ay pareho kaming taga UP film. Tapos sikat kasi si Carl sa UP. Oh. Kasi ano siya, EIC siya ng Philippine Collegian. So parang maganda yung ano eh, maganda yung Philippine Collegian nung tayo na nasa UP ako. So syempre, ang natural tendency mo ay ano, alamin kung sino yung behind the behind the paper and kahangaan yung the people behind the paper. So yun, si Carl yung EIC nun. Tapos aside from that, um, yung bongong encounter talaga namin ay bilang yung first novel ni Sir Ricky Lee ay isa siyang bongang pasabog bilang unang nobela ni Ricky Lee. At si Carl yung nag-design nun. So nung launch nun sa bahay ng alumni sa UP, so habang mahaba yung pila kay Ricky Lee, kay Carl, walang pila. <laughs> so, nagpa-autograph ako kay Carl. So, ang nilagay niya dun sa autograph, parang, Dear Tonet, sana nagmagustuhan mo, ma-appreciate mo ang libro at ang design at sana in the future, makapag-collaborate tayo sa short films. Tapos yun. After six years, we worked on our first collaboration, which is the poster for my first film. It's a really funny story. Uh, <clears throat> I I um, I never attend the National Book Award awarding ceremonies because I'm either out of the country or somewhere else, or I'm just too nervous to go. And there was a time uh, I was nominated again for this time for culinaria. And I think it was in 2006, and it was in Ayala Museum the lobby, the, the ceremonies. And the book was nominated for two categories, uh, best food book and best design. And, and Carl was like in front of me and he was like a very nervous, you know, like quiet, introverted guy. 
and I just like, hey, Carl, hi, how are you? Like, I'm Igar, introduce myself. And then he, he was a bit intimidated because maybe he knew me from before, but, you know, I, I managed to be friendly. And for me, you know, I'm like, so that's where I met him. I introduced myself. And he won, actually, <laughs> that night. And ako naman, like, that time, okay, I'm, you know, like, I feel, I felt bad because uh, Culinaria never won any award that evening. You know, so I said, oh, well, you know, like, it's really Russian roulette. And, you know, and it might not be the best cookbook. In fact, I was seated with my, another competitor, uh, Lida Lim Perez, who won for the best cookbook. And uh, Lida and um, uh, Feliz, uh, uh, Feliz uh, uh, Lim Perez. And the, the Baguio, uh, uh, I forgot the name of the, the restaurant in Baguio, Cafe by the Ruins cook, Cookbook won as opposed to culinaria. And then I told them, like, I think your book will win because it has a better narrative. And, and true enough, it won. And then, of course, like, I felt bad because, like, Carl won for Palaspas. Yeah, and I think Palaspas, yeah. Two, two, six, two, or seven. One of those, I uh, know. I think two, or seven. One of the ones. So, so that's how I met Carl. I am Tina G. Castro. I am the head of the production and editorial of Ateneo de Manila University Press. I am in charge of the uh, manuscripts from submission to uh, printing. So uh, the process of submission to printing, I oversee those uh, uh, processes. I have to uh, see the, uh, check the integrity in the process of book production. So I have to talk to the authors, editors, artists, and printers. Thank you. How did you first come across Carl and his work? Uh, it was the year 2007 when I was to leave Philippine Studies Journal. Uh, Dr. Aguilar asked him to do a new layout for Philippine Studies. It was really a unique presentation because it is different from the previous layout of Philippine Studies. Kaya nga, when, I, when, you, when Maricor asked me to find another artist because our artist JB uh, left us, I recommended Carl. I first came across his book, uh, his work, as uh, when he did uh, the Philippine Studies Journal, one of the longest uh, existing academic journals. It was also time that it was transitioning editorially, and it was a good. Uh, opportunity to introduce a new design for it and a new look and I really liked what he did with it and pretty soon he was doing the covers of Ateneo Press books as well and uh, of course he would uh, work with different fonts and we would discuss what what would be good to come out on a cover but uh, and he would have really arresting photographs uh, for the covers of some books but towards uh, the later years he would be using die cuts die cuts for the cover and uh, a lot of uh, spot lamination folded covers like an accordion and all of these things um, introduced you know new experiences to reading uh, books as an author right as an author you write a book because you have a purpose mm -hmm. you want a dialogue with a reader so a designer should be able to achieve that for the author so in that way it's so important uh, to, that the design creates those dialogues so that's the first thing. So a person would walk uh, towards a book 
it's attracted by its what's the first thing that the person gets attracted to the color right and or the illustration or a photography right the outline the outline or the forms and shapes um, sometimes even before they get drawn to the title mm -hmm. especially from afar mm -hmm. and then the title is um, is shown through its kind of typeface and all of these put together is what would um, create sort of emotion that a reader will feel attracted to then you pick up a book and you look at the back cover and but before that you already have questions in your head what is this book going to be like will this speak to me and you have the back cover so as a designer uh, you have this conversation with the author what synopsis do you put in there and how will you capture that as a designer the size the space because when you read right when you read you're not you read that text because of the space around it so it's the space that lends readability mm -hmm. to the text so in all of that uh, when you put it all together it's what makes a person experience the joys of going from cover to cover I think lahat ng dinidesign ni Carl it's informed and well thought parang pala, lahat ng detalye yung paggamit niya ng type tas kung gaano kalaki yung yung gagamitin niya na size ng libro ano yung papel so lahat yun pinag-iisipan niya at integrated doon yung mismong laman hindi siya yung parang arbitrary lang napipili ng uh, anong gagamitin niyang elemento lahat parang kailangan kung ba, ano parang bahagi siya nung kung ano yung content nung text na nilidesign niya well i remember the first time that he that he submitted the pages and it had the calibrations of a ruler which i thought was really quite elegant and brilliant um it would intrigue readers on why there are calibrations on the pages but um but the the coup de gras was the the cover itself when i was told that he had to manually put coffee and salt mm -hmm. and and form it into this yeah. And can you just imagine how you could form salt and coffee into yeah, this? Profile, yeah. So, so I was blown away. So, and I said, what a wonderful way to to treat the the spirit of the title. And I've always agreed with the with a mantra that you judge a you judge a cover by its cover. So I think the the cover itself. It's a standalone work of art and a work of design that warrants an independent craft and thinking of and in of itself. You know that the challenge with with something like this is how to present it in a way that would make the reader stop and take a look, because it could easily uh, appear like like. Um, what verbal diarrhea on the page uh, so um, the divisions the 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 spaces between paragraphs all of these these are these are all the work of uh, of Carl and I, I think it's it's wonderful how a very scholarly portion like this can actually come out to be uh, attractive one of the cleverest design solutions I thought was his way of handling typography and, and, and text, which is not something in the purview of design. People think of design as something graphic, as something that you instantly see. Um, Carl's work and his aesthetic is, I think, covers much more than that. Um, it goes into the very specific, very tricky question of how do you handle text? How do you handle, how do you make it readable? How does it work for, for readers? And, and what use will the readers have for these books? 
Carl still kept the idea of wanting it to be workable as a script, as a, as, as a manual that um, actors or, or students would hold. So he designed um, a two volume on um, each page to run for two volume, uh, two columns. And uh, the first time he told me, Carl has a way to tell you, I'm thinking of two columns. I'm thinking, I'm looking at Bible. I said, Bible naman ang dating. <laughs> Jehovah's Witness or something. I kept thinking of religious tomes with two, because that's... But, but it was much more readable when I saw it. It seemed much looser. It seemed much more fluid. And, and if he, you really wanted to use it as a script book, there was even space to scribble notes, which I thought was a very, very bright solution for, for the problem of, of a book about plays, a book, a book that has a lot of um, stage directions and dialogue and text. Um, wala na akong ibang gustong mag-design nung para sa Dalting Call Tadhana, kundi si Carl. So, naalala ko na meron siyang tatlong studies na binigay. So, lahat siya um, ang pagkakatulad dun sa tatlong studies na yon ay basta napakasimple. Nandun lang yung mukha ni Angelica at ni JM at yung title. Kasi um, pinabasa ko kasi kay Carl yung script. So, bukod sa pagiging um, siya yung pinupuntahan ko sa pagde-design. Si Carl yung isa sa mga konting mga tao na lagi kong pinapadala ng script ko bago ko gawing final draft. So, dahil nabasa niyo yung script ng Tadhana, parang sinabi niya na nagustuhan niya yung simplicity nito. Kaya dapat lang na yung poster. Mapalabas yung simplicity din ng pelikula. Nag-usap na kami ni Carl through emails, no? Ang unang niya agad naisip yung idea na yung gamitin yung mga hand writing ni Cabell no dun sa uh, cover no? so ginawa niya agad yan pinakauna niyang ginawa ito eh na design at champ na gusto naman agad uh, very unique syempre yung presentation wala wala actually yung una wala yung yung ano eh, yung title ng book dun sa ano eh, sa sa cover so yung ano lang image lang nung labor leader na si Cabell tapos yung handwriting na na nabuo yung image niya from the handwriting. Na, buo yung image ni Cabell from the handwriting. Um, tapos from there, yun, nag, um, na ano na, na, na nabuo na yung idea na, yung, ng design ng book na gamitin na parang as a motif uh, ng book yung handwriting. Very interesting para sa akin dahil si Cabell all throughout my my work as journalist na kinocover ko siya nung, nung time na yun. Uh, hindi siya known as a writer talaga. Parang militant labor leader, legislator. Pero nung binasa ko yung mga letters niya, very interesting kasi very learned siya. Uh, aral na aral siya sa maraming mga social issues at nagbabasa siya at well written yung mga letters niya. So parang maganda, interesting yung idea ni Carl na gamitin motif sa book yung yung handwriting cover. So throughout the book, nandiyan yung mga handwriting niya. Um, syempre nandiyan din yung text mismo ng mga letters para syempre mabasa mo ng mas, mas maayos. No? At the same time, nag-provide yung family ng mga letter, uh, mga photos ni Cabell na very personal sa kanila. So ito yung, yung, Cabell, yung photo ni Cabell nang nakakulong siya, nung martial law. Uh, Ganun pa silang mga photos nung, nung lumaya siya, nung 1984. Marami pang iba. At uh, brilliant yung pagkaka-weave ni, Ka- ni Carl eh, nung photos and text saka yung motif nung handwriting. Hanggang sa dulo nandyan yung, handwrite, eh, yung signature ni Cabell. Ayun, so um ganda nung, nung product kahit na Palagi ko isa sa mga first uh, designs ni Carl na talagang mahirap gawin dahil hindi lang simpleng text and photos. Kundi talagang i-weave mo yung images and text and photo, uh, and uh, yung mga ganyang texture uh, sa isang libro na coherent at uh, interesting na basahin. Well, I was the printer for the love letters. Uh, the El Pido Carino book and uh, in that project 
there was uh, there was uh, already an idea of what the book should look like. So I think for a designer, it, that that's how I got to know Carl. And I've seen um, preview studies of that book, mm -hmm. which uh, which weren't designed by Carl. And I've given uh, the publisher my. My, also my idea of uh, how I think the book should feel because as a printer you know the physicality of the book and how how a reader travels from the cover uh, how it should feel like how the book should carry the weight of the book um, where the reader would normally read the book does he put it in a bag all of these are questions I ask the publisher or the author um, in terms of its, their purpose, right? And so with Carl, when finally, uh, days before the files were to be turned over to me as a printer, and I saw Carl's work, I thought previous to the design studies I've seen of another designer, I thought he did uh, justice to such an important material, which is love letters, you know, intimate love letters between a couple. Mm -hmm. I, it's not really, there are many customers and readers that I hear, they like the design of Carl. Of course, I, I also like the design. Kaya lang talagang, the more I appreciate him. Kasi sa mga comments niya, those ano, readers, very unique. For example, the uh, the book of Maribel Garcia on the first book. Uh, it's about science, solitaire, and then another book. Uh, another book. Eh? It's also uh, 21 grams of spirit. Imagine you will make the page look like uh, something like a measurement. There is a ruler there. So who will think of that? Only Carl can do it. I like the fact that uh, Carl uh, loves social science research. You know, it's, I find it strange that for some who's, someone who is an artist, a visual, a filmmaker, uh, a painter, uh, um, someone who likes social science you know, and research-based uh, social science. So I, f I found that to be very intriguing and um, he would even make uh, substantive comments. You know? So, and for example, when I, we need a, a, a photo for the opening of the article, uh, since he knows what we're talking about, for example, we're talking about post-structuralism. <laughs> and how do you illustrate an image uh, post-structuralism? And he said, you know, I have this art, I, have, I know of a certain artwork that will show you how it, so ganon, no? So, uh, I appreciate that, and it makes um, your work as editor um, easier and also very exciting. Matalino yung pagdesign niya, pero hindi niya pinapabukas yun. Napatalino tong design na to. Parang very reachable, very pop culture, very matalino at the same time jologs. Um, so parang feeling ko kaya nagmamatch yung aesthetics ni Carl sa akin, kasi. Um, very pop culture na ako, very masa, very jolog. So, nakukuha ni Carl yung ganong aesthetics. Tapos, um, si Carl parang very simple lang yung design niya. Wala, hindi kanya bibigyan ng mga palabok, hindi kanya bibigyan ng mga kung ano-anong mga malulunod ka dun sa design. Pero, sobrang simple ng design, pero ang daming sinasabi. Yun yung gusto ko kay Carl ever since. So, ayun. Tapos, sobrang pagkakolaborate mo si Carl, nagko-collaborate talaga siya freely na he ano he welcomes criticism Carl is a very special designer in terms of the way he treats uh, the subject let's say for instance I was looking at his Palaspas book it's very whimsical uh, it's not your usual anthropological book it's almost akin to to a how to book but it's not really a how-to book, but it's more of like anthropological, but it's nicely photographed. And then he would repeat 
the colors and the uh, you know he would invent graphic devices mimicking the material and I like that I, I mean at, there was a time in my designing life that I would do the same things and then he he did another um, cover in Almanac ng Activista and I think it's a very uh, it's a very clever, clever piece of, of design work because he used the faces of the moon. But the faces the, of the moon is not white, it's red. So he can actually convey underlying tones of the author. I mean, in, in fact, it's very clever that, you know, some people may get it, but some people may not get it. But I think you know for for people who read they would get the design you know uh, the 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 thing that he wants to 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 show you know so he's actually giving a voice to the to the text i dare say that um part a big part of the recognition that the ateneo press um uh, garnered through the years uh, has come from not just what the books say of course, that's really important, but also in how they look. Um, I, I've had a lot of authors who said that they were happy about how their books turned out. And I also get readers who say that they love this or that book. And for me, that's saying something um, big about an academic book. And to that extent, I think Carl has uh, contributed to it in no small way. Of course, when you hold in your hand something like this, people are compelled to read it. You know? So, uh, hindi naman siguro ako nagmamayabang, kun, pero uh, ang ganda ng reception ng aming members. No? So, our subscription also sh shot up you know, in, in modest standards uh, uh, social science publishing. Um, as of this year, we're the highest selling uh, journal in the Philippine Social Science uh, Council. So I think it has re-energized uh, the journal. It has uh, uh, re-energized uh, the Philippine Sociological Society. So, sa palagay ko kasi is in the content and the substance of research is very important. But when you package this with a compelling visual um, visual element that makes that makes it uh, a notch higher that brings it to a higher level. One of the things that I'm gladdest about is that we've become very, very dear friends. We have a range of the same interests. I, I never knew when, when, when you introduced us that we, we were both into, we, we love looking at, at, at books, we love looking at magazines. We, we talk about everything from pop culture to fashion to uh, everything. Send, send, he keeps sending me links and we're always talking about things. Um, it's very rare to find a young person who has such a range, who has such a range of interests, and at the same time, a young a young person who has such a discipline. Because at that certain age, you expect young people to be wanting to go in every direction, but he already has such a discipline. He has such a focus. He has only and he has only one. I don't know if I should say this, use this na lang if you wish, no? but he has only one bad review. The review of Ambit Ocampo when he did the, the book about the, the Kirino love letters, in which Ambit said, and, and Carl said rightly, that the book was over-designed or something. And I did look at it now, oh nga naman, very untypical Carl with all, but he was playing and you could tell that, and that was fun about it. Otherwise, it's a very spare, very severe, and he never really takes you on the expected journey. He'll, he'll take it in a different way.